please allow me to introduce our channel. It's a channel of wealth and taste. We've been around for over a year now, and we're called Heavenly Album Covers. And a lot of people ask us how we put our show together, our episodes, and uh, we go by uh, one basic process, and uh, that process is we randomly pick out albums from our vast uh, album archives here at Heavenly Album Covers, and we pick out uh, albums, and then we kind of look at the back liner notes of albums and jot down highlights from the liner notes of each and every album. Then sometimes we look on the internet and embellish our um, scripts. We have scripts that are always written on um, pieces of paper in pen, usually Sharpie, and uh, here's mo a lot of our um, notes are right here. You can see we're very precise and uh, we try to get everything right for every album cover that we show, like this album by singer and performer Larry Lewis, exclamation point. And here's Larry Lewis right here. I'm going to slowly bring the camera up so we can look at Larry Lewis. And here is Larry Lewis. He is um, very small on the album cover. This photograph is minuscule and tiny. And the actual image of Larry Lewis is even very small in the photograph. He's just... Um, kind of framed by this uh, foliage, this forest that he's in. Larry is wearing um, white pants. He's striking a dramatic pose. Uh, let's see if I can get some better light on this. This might be the only chance anyone out there gets a chance to look at the cover of uh, Larry Lewis's album and his image here. And there's Larry. I'm trying to get as close as I can without blurring and this is Larry Lewis. He's the singer of this album. It looks like he's wearing a paisley, kind of a mod, very early 70s shirt, long sleeve shirt. He's got a white belt, I believe, and his shoes are obscured here under some mulch. And this is a uh, magnificent cover. The majority of the album cover, as I get my pointer here, most of the album cover is black here. The image area is very um, small, I guess. Uh, it only takes up about half, half the landscape on this uh, album cover, and Larry's image takes only about uh, 1 20th of the album cover up uh, in size uh, terms. And uh, so that's the cover of Larry Lewis's album. Let's look at the flip side. This is on um, Le Fever records and uh funny thing is i i did write some notes here but they're all covered up by old notes so i'm not even sure where the real notes went so we'll just wing it here and uh larry was from uh lodi california and this is the back cover this is on la fever sound records la fever sound records put out literally hundreds of uh, mostly christian albums possibly some other uh, genres of album, and Larry does um, some Christian standards and also some uh, just normal, regu regular standards like Impossible Dream, uh, Put Your Hand in the Hand, and um, Take Jesus With You, Day by Day, Sweet By and By, all of those songs Larry does, and um, this was recorded by the Lefevre Sound Corporation printed by, the cover was printed by G&L Graphics. The artwork was by Mike Bowen, and uh, this was manufactured by RCA Custom Division. And uh, this little strip of liner note is uh, mostly about Jesus, how Jesus is great, uh, everybody should like Jesus, and you shouldn't do anything unless you believe in Jesus. And uh, there's Larry Lewis's name with the helpful exclamation point there. And uh, I like this little credit in the corner, uh, Lefebvre Sound Corporation in Atlanta, Georgia. And the Lefebvre logo is just um, almost psychedelic, very optical art looking. 
And let's look at um, Larry Lewis's actual record. It is an actual record. It looks like it has um, a lot of material on it. And um, there's the Lefevre logo, very proud logo, a very um, forceful logo. And there's Larry's name. I don't know what happened to Larry, if he still sings, if he's still around, uh, where he went, what he did. Um, I have found very little information about him, and I lost the original liner notes I had, so we can't refer to those. So this is um, basically Larry Lewis with an exclamation point after his name. This writing is just, um, or this, this text, this font is just gigantic. Uh, this is like two inches tall lettering here, and it's uh, red, pink, and red.